Hello, Skullgirls fans, and welcome to Skull Hearts at Dawn. I'm your host, Chad Fury333, and it's gonna be practice as usual. I haven't. I don't think I did this last week. I don't recall doing this last week. The week I came back from Combo Breaker, so. eh, whatever. So we're doing this now! I have been actually practicing. The big thing I learned at Combo Breaker is that what I really need to learn to work on is my BNB combo. That's the big thing. It's actually not as much a neutral game problem as I thought. I mean, occasionally I do have problems with that. But it turns out my neutral game, my neutral game is not as horrid as I thought it was. But confirming off of neutral is a problem. Thus, I plan to work on that, and I have been working on it. It's gotten a bit better, but man, combos are a lot harder to get perfect than I'd anticipated. Like, way harder to get perfect than I'd anticipated. It's one of those things where I keep thinking I'm doing it right, and then my brain just sort of skews off, and I mess it up. And then I get it back eventually, but for a little while, I mess it up. And will this player actually choose a character set, or what? I am rather confused here. But yeah, so, I'm actually kind of excited. I been, have been practicing, and slowly but surely, getting there. Hey, there we go. Got the character. Well, got their team, rather. <laughs> it's a team game! Despite the fact that I seem to deny that, categorically, by playing solos, and exclusive or a solo, and exclusively a solo, like but, I don't know, ya. Zoning is in order. Oh, whoops. I wanted to jump to do that. Ah, really? Ah, what? Okay, yeah, that's one of those things I'm kind of finding. Well, that works too. I've been kind of finding that sometimes I will mess up quarter circles. Is this gonna be death? Nope. I thought it was something to be death. Ooh. Wow, that's gotta be painful. So yeah, for some reason I seem to still screw up the down to the back. My quarter circles. Oh, right, which reminds me. Mistake I made last time, I'll correct right now, because I just got reminded that it's a thing that I gotta remember to do. And that is to have this on for you guys. Hang on. Of course, the reason I forget that is because it causes some other issues, so bear with me for a second. Sorry about that. When I switch, when I have Padlet on, I need to use the PlayStation mode of my stick, and I normally use the Xbox mode because it works with everything. So yeah, now we... Hang on. Okay, well, whatever. I'm... Got my character, so yeah, I'll get Padlet up in a sec. I know people have, in the past, requested for Padlet, so I want to make sure I have that up. There we go. Of course you know. Well, do I know I tried. you? Gentlemen and ladies is Okay, there we go. The ah. ah, darn it. I still haven't figured out how to properly do the cross up on that reset. Oh, whoops. Well, this is fair for death. Oh, did I seriously miss that? Get Peacock back here. All right, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. I'm kind of surprised I didn't expect a throw. Seriously, you're teabagging me? I'm winning the match. Okay, that was meant to be a command throw. You'll see it. Once I get Padlight -like properly working, it'll be obvious. Oh, 
Okay, well, that was just weird. Clap for sad loser. Come on. Pad light's a pain in the butt sometimes. Okay. It kind of, I find it surprising there's actually no other program out there like Pad light that I can find, at least, besides Pad light. There we go. Perfect. All right. We're in business. You get pad light, you get to see what I'm doing. So if I'm complaining about stuff, you can see how valid that is. Because I'm probably doing, like, whenever I'm complaining about quarter circles, I'm probably not doing a full quarter circle. I'm fairly certain that's the problem. I don't know why. I mean, it has to be the problem. I just don't know why it's the problem. It seems to be a recent thing. Anyway. Oh. Hey, someone knows what they're doing. Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't insult my group's opponents. But ah, this is proving to be an actual a bit of a challenge. All right, there we go. Hmm. Okay, they're gonna go for another cross up. I'm pretty sure they're staying so close to me. It's gotta be a cross up. There it is. Ah! Wow, did they just cross up their hitbox like one pixel to the left during the assist call? Okay, that was high low mix up. All right. There we go. Just waiting for that moment. What? Ugh. Seriously missed? I gotta get my... Okay, this is one of those things I just gotta get. Absolute... Oh, shoot. I just realized right as I started hitting them that I needed to snap back, and that totally threw me off. Like, I had the meter to snap, I had basically only snap health. Messed that up. Or at least got confused, because like, oh, wait, snap time! And didn't properly get started anyway. Started anyway, I think my stick's breaking. My stick, I don't know if you can hear the rattling. Yeah, there's something rattling going on. I think the stick is starting, or the spring is starting to go. I have a replacement, it's just annoying. Gentlemen and ladies, it's time to fight! Like, installing springs is annoying. Nice. Oh! Not, oh wait, why did I do that? I thought I was doing the quick one. That was not what I wanted to do. In so many ways, that was not what I wanted to do. Actually, that was what I wanted to do. I just didn't follow it up properly. That was... That worked! Alright, cool. So, now... I have the advantage again. Nice. Ah, bad time for a drill. I guess I figured they'd be close enough afterwards. Wouldn't be a problem. Whoops. Oh, what the? Oh, right, I gotta do the shadow after that if I want to follow up. That's actually part of a combo string that I need to learn for the corner. Crap. Man, that was jittery. But yeah, there's a combo string I need to learn for the corner that involves using heavy kick instead of heavy punch in the middle of my BNB. And I've been trying to learn that a little bit, but not as much as the main BNB. And I'm also clearly getting really distracted by something. I'm not sure exactly what. I feel like I was really distracted by something in that match. Maybe... I don't know, I think I was starting to get fixated on trying to throw, or the fact that I did... I accidentally did a slow command grab instead of the fast command grab. When I mentioned the fast command grab, and that was starting to just get to me. Which is weird, because it worked out, too. Like, that was actually a successful, a successful thing. Because I did that, I ended up getting damage. I wasted a bit of super, but... I got some damage. Gentlemen and ladies, is... A shot! Oh, nice. 
Okay, that's... One thing I've got to learn in general is my confirms. Like, actually properly confirming when I... Like, not using Heavy Punch unless I know I've got a hit. Ah. Seriously, I didn't see that coming. We're above you. You're on the ground. That's actually not a bad time to use Heavy Punch. Not a great time, but... Green attack, it's not terrible. Man, this makes me feel weird. I used to play Fortune myself. If I wasn't anywhere near as good as Fortune as I am with Fook was. Did I seriously reset from that and not block? Wow. That was a bad time to be holding forward. You're fighting machine. Hey. Okay, that was strange. Oh, why am I confirming that? That's gonna be painful. Why am I confirming all these 240 ping matches? That's gonna. I don't know. This is not gonna be fun. Gentlemen and it's squiggly is too. So good. I mean, actually, I've been practicing my combo squiggly because squigglies have been. Long since my bane, so I have actually been practicing on squigglies. I just need to. Oh, what? What? I thought I hit you! Oh, this thing is not easy. You get. I thought I hit you moments with ping at 240. Well, it's damage at least. It's damage on both of them. I couldn't corner carry to the point of actually being able to double snap though. But the important thing is I think I turned it around. I'm not sure if that counts as showboating. But yeah, that not a double snap, but it still worked. Turn it around. I didn't want to try resetting at that point though. It's like all, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I felt like the only real hope I had was to try to deal as much damage as possible, go for the full damage of the combo, and let it drop and not reset, rather than try to reset and then lose double. Because then double would drop out, and it wouldn't be able to damage double as much. I might have been able to kill Squiggly more easily, so maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm approaching that the wrong way. I just felt like I should be going for the full damage, try to deal all the damage I can, and then afterwards, once that's done, I just have to win neutral one more time. Like, pretty much one more time, because on the if I win and then they come in after death, that's a disadvantage for the incoming double. Of course, that's assuming they don't tag. Well, it wouldn't tag out at that point, because double is so weak. Double has been heavily damaged at that point, and can't... No! No, wait. It's not the team I want. I'm forgetting which one's start. Okay, there we go. I'm forgetting I switched my start and select buttons. That's what's happening. It's actually... Yeah, you're gonna see that. I probably should change how pad like configures that. Is, is a shot. Oh shoot! What? Oh, I keep doing that. Okay, if I. Why do I keep doing that? I know I keep doing that because I'm practicing the combo for one specific, for two specific cases. Either a jumping heavy kick or a crouching light punch. Those are the two situations I'm practicing for. Not if I convert off of a shadow. Which I keep running into. What? Well, it's game. What? Ah, it would have been game. There we go. That was a weird way. I, I think I have three meters, so I might as well just do this the easy way. We are done here. Easy guaranteed win. Hmm. Probably should find someone for lobby for next week. And also more often in general. Some of my opponents have been pretty impressive. Some of them have 
they have work ahead of them that I have once had ahead of me. I wish them the best on their own path to self-improvement. And if they want help, I don't know if I'm the best person to ask, but I'd try, or if I don't know the answer, direct them to someone who probably does. Gentlemen and ladies, it's yeah. time to fight! I don't feel any contempt for the people I'm beating. That That's just rude. Like, they are at a different path in the road to self-improvement than I am. Or a different point in the path. But they are still... improving, most likely. Especially something I've been thinking about in terms of failure and how our society, and particularly nerd culture, approaches failure, which I think it's a relatively unhealthy way of doing it, which is basically that if you fail, you are a failure, like some sort of static thing that you're just... You can never improve. You're statically bad. Wow, that's close. Wow, okay, I should have gone for the full damage. That was a mistake, but no matter. But yeah, it's like, I feel like that's something that... It, I, don't, I don't know why it is, but I know that I used to have that problem with myself. Actually, I still not used to, I still do. And this realization is nothing new, for, I know, for a lot of the Skullgirls community, but... You know, if you're doing... If you're doing something, you're not necessarily going to be perfect at first, and then you improve, and however you perform is not necessarily a reflection on your total potential performance, it's simply a reflection on you right now. So, you know, a weakness is not your weak. A weakness is the specific thing you need to work on. Now, if you fail at something, it's not you're a failure, it's there's this specific aspect of the thing which you have yet to learn to the point of mastery. Oops. Well, that was a good jump, anyway. Ah, what? Well, that works, too. I was trying to do the forward one, but... What? Oh, shoot. What? Can I not super during this? Ah! That was poorly thought out. Close match, though. There's no crying in fighting games! I think I should have shadowed once and then done that. I think the shadow would have taken out at least one of the bombs. It would have taken the bomb in front of me, giving me the time to shoot forward. Or jump in the air and use that super. That would have actually worked far better. Yeah, that would have been a much better option. Or just jump in the air. Period. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, so... Yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with the sense of trying to weed people out, like an excessive fascination with the concept of Darwinian evolution that... Who will be the czar I don't know, maybe not. Sort of the social Darwinism thing, but I don't know if that's the reason or if it's just something that comes up that seems... Oh, that was... That was a good reset. Except for the lack of confirmation. But yeah, sort of this... Seems to be this assumption that like you just... All that matters is how someone is performing in the moment, and that's it. It's like, it's not a matter of, you know, some aspect of them that needs to be improved, that needs to be, that weak needs to be removed. No, it's the entire person. The entire person is no good because they aren't perfect at the thing they're trying to do. And it's one of those things that I feel like it's, I don't think it's just nerd culture. But it seems like it's a thing that comes up in nerd culture, and I don't know how to think about it. Oh. There we go. Oh, whoops. That was a perfect opportunity, but oh well. No matter, I got the game. But yeah, so that's the thing. Is I'm trying. I've realized that, that really failure needs to be approached in a nuanced way, and needs to be considered in terms of specifics. And I've been being told this so often throughout my life. Like it's this has been a constant message people have been told me. It's finally kind of internalized that I need to focus on specific things. I can't think of failure as some giant thing, as some all-encompassing, all-or-nothing thing. It has to be thought of in terms of, you know. I'm showing there are weaknesses, like some stressor is showing off, is showing weaknesses. It doesn't mean that I'm a weak person, or it doesn't mean that I'm a failure. It means that 
Those are the weaknesses. I'm being shown the weaknesses. Something is putting enough stress on the system, as it were. Putting enough stress in my play or on my personality or whatever. It's more obvious in my Dark Souls Let's Play where I get pretty frustrated at times. That it's showing the weaknesses that I have to work on, but it's not showing that I'm a weak person who should just be discounted. Ow. Oh, oh, right, I gotta go medium kick. Oops. That did not want to hit double medium kick and medium kick. Just one. Oh, what? Oh, man, this shiver is... What's the ping again? I don't remember the ping was in this match. I'm feeling really dizzy right now. Uh, games like this that make me wish that Vancouver had an active Skullgirl scene. Like, there's like two Skullgirl players in British Columbia, both of which are much better than I am. It's like there's Yaya and there's Liam, and I think that's about it. I think everyone else is basically no longer active. So yeah. Okay, well that was. Ow. We are just getting started. <sighs> Message from propaganda minister. That felt dizzying. I mean, I don't know. I think it was a jitter thing though, because I think thought their pin was ping was like 150, which is normally fine. But it really it comes down to jitter. Ping in this game is not the big deal. Jitter is the big deal. It's that was how stable the so connection good. is. That's usually when you get those weird rollback issues. I mean, yeah, it can come up with really high pings, but I mean like 200 plus pings. That's when you start to see that issue, because it's 100 one way, which means that there's six frame window if you don't know what's gonna happen. If it's like 150 milliseconds, that's and 90 milliseconds is easy. That's like three frames. So that's hardly anything that you're rolling back. It basically won't get in the way of any startups. Whereas with longer distances, like once you get to 200 milliseconds, that's 100 each way, that's six frames, it's kind of pushing it. Because startups are five frames for the quickest attacks, I believe. Oops. Ah, whoops. Right. Ah, tried to taunt you. Ow. Well, okay. You still tried to taunt, I still smacked you out of it, I think. Which will come in handy once you've done this combo, because it. Oh, I missed that reset. Ah! Wow. Okay. Ow. Okay, so I know they're gonna go for air resets pretty often. Give me a hit. Oh, no, air resets. Throw resets. Air throw resets. Ah! Really hard to do all talking. Wow, okay, that. We have come to turn. See it. Good to know. Manager Gora likes to go for air throw resets with their big band. I don't know why I forgot to look for that. Like, I wasn't even thinking, bam, hit hit the air throw, hit the throw input. It was just. Go. Alright, Mandragora again. I can actually possibly use this new knowledge to my benefit. And they are playing Big Band! One truth prevails. Alright. Gentlemen and ladies is a shot! What? That! I didn't. Uh, I think my, either a stick is broken or damaged, or I just need to get. Switch out the Octagate for a quad gate. So what? Which I know I probably need to do anyway. I keep doing that. I need to spend some quality time in training, but. Darn it. Medium punch on the ground, not. Light punch or whatever it was I did. Wow, did I jump into that? Oh yeah, I was trying to do a jump fireball. Okay, good good read on their part. Ow. 
Three times. Second. Crush them. Three what? Oh man, I was trying to do like a one frame special throw. What? Oh right, that's not throw invincible. Finally I get a match out of this person. Right, and that's not throw invincible. There we go. Uh, what? Did I seriously not do a half cir or quarter circle? How did I seriously fail to do a quarter circle in that instance? I think I have this. Yes. So wow! Bad. I turned that around. <laughs> the confirms. The it's confirm okay. worked. That was the thing I was working on. Was getting that combo to work, and it worked, and it won me that match. My practice has had tangible payoff, and my voice is cracking. My my practice has had tangible payoff. Hooray! I'm happy. I'm apparently vocally tired. Apparently, since my voice has been cracking right now, which is not the most usual thing in the world, but yeah, I did a thing that I wouldn't have done two weeks ago. I'm happy about that. Although that was a really close match. Holy crap. Manticore is strong. Very strong. I'm surprised I was able to turn that around. Like, that was like one good hit into the combo that actually won it for me. That was so There's close. No shame in losing. Hmm, oh. Okay. Okay. We're playing long distance zoning, eh? Oh! Ah! I forgot my... Okay, I got a practice snap back combo. That has not been priority. Or double snap combo. Oops! Okay, that works. I got the medium kick. I'm surprised that medium kick is actually the problem. I got it better than mine when I'm practicing. Is that medium kick is the thing I need to work on? Oh, I was expecting to throw. Actually, I was expecting to throw. I should have just jumped and. Yeah, that. That's actually a really powerful thing to do when they do that because you basically have to jump at just the right moment to avoid it. What? Ah. Uh, well. Dang, that double snap Winner almost worked for me. I mean, I had the right idea. I just need to practice that snap combo. But I want to get my main BNB down first and then work on resets and then work on snap combos. Because snap combos are useful, but my BNB is bread and butter. It's there every single match. I need it all the time. I need to know it. And clearly, I still have a couple issues with the timing. I still have a couple issues, especially with coming into it off of slightly unusual Gentlemen entrances like is, is El Shadow. Time to fight! Uh. Oops. Okay, good. Paris. What the heck happened to Whatever. Reality in that play happens. All right. Ah. I don't know when I'm supposed to time that. I think that's the thing I got to practice. When I'm supposed to time the part where I cross up. All right, there we go. Apparently, I'm supposed to use shadows to build up meter while I'm waiting for my opponent. Ah, it's not quite a happy birthday. Not quite a happy birthday, but it still works out. I'm actually kind of surprised that worked because normally, if I'm hitting the hitting the assist is usually a really bad idea. That 
I mean, I felt like I kind of got lucky there. I think they were trying to counter hit. I have to check the replay. I think they're trying to counter hit me as I was doing the replay. Or sorry, as I was hitting the assist. I'm getting confused with my terms. As I was hitting the assist, I think they were trying to hit me out of it. And the hitboxes were just slightly misjudged. I think it was very slightly, and then as a result, it went. But we'll see. Because we could play them again. And now we just kind of both know each, how each other plays, and I should probably... All right, Philly, I gotta be focused on anti-air. And zoning and getting Philly out of my face, because... The scariest thing about Affilia is Affilia who's up in your face. Because that's where Affilia wants to be. Ah. Wow, really? That went through? I did not expect that. Ah, shoot. I almost... I think it's so easy when you're soloing against a trio to get a happy birthday, but... If you screw up the combo, it becomes... Why are you zoning me? Like, I'm the one with the ranged tools here. They're waiting for me screwing up, because... At this point... Okay, they're leading, I guess. Well, this is a zoning match. I am now the Peacock player, apparently. Well, that's that. No, no nope. bad move. Very, very, very bad. Wow, I didn't get punished, thankfully. Why did I do that? I knew that was going to trigger IPS. Why did I do... I needed to do the other... Do another move, a medium kick or... Or medium punch or heavy... Or medium kick or medium punch. That's what I need to do before the heavy kick. Oh, well, that's... There we go. Oh, I don't get it. Oh, I don't get a happy birthday this time. Shoot, I think they got me. They got me dead to rights at this point. Yeah, I, this is the final combo, I think. Or is it? Maybe? Yep. Yeah, that's... Wow, really? Yeah, that's it. I was trying to get into range for BFFs. Like, BFF in the snapback into then actually doing something. But no, they, they got me dead to rights there. I see, I figured they were probably a pretty good player. I, they played relatively well, so I wasn't thinking it was like, oh, I just dominated them. I didn't dominate them. I got a happy... I got... I figure I got lucky where they were trying to counter at me and misjudge the hitbox lightly. Yeah, the thing that happens. And that was... Both matches of those were actually pretty good matches, so... Gentlemen and ladies, is Another Philly. Another Philly double team, actually. Oh, what? And this time, I gotta work on that. I think... I'm almost thinking maybe I should just make that my next point of practice. I mean, I realize on the one hand, I kind of want to have my B and B down perfect. Oops. But at the same time, like, clearly my option set is relatively limited whenever I'm in these situations where I've got to get a confirm off of... Wow, I'm missing all these cross-ups. Or I'm getting hit by all these cross-ups, which is exactly opposite what I want. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't expect to have text. What I wanted to do was this. Okay, that was pointless. Alright, good. Sort of. Not really. Because they're going to level 5 me in a sec. If I live that long, they're going to level 5 me. Wow, okay, that was... I totally threw that away. I mean, okay, the Philly hitting me the cross-ups, that... Perfectly valid, but it's more so when I got the opportunity to not get hit and get out of there, I just threw it away. That and also I messed up the combo at the end. So I still have to work on my B and B. It's just that there's all these other situations that pop up and thinking I gotta at least put some practice into the resets, getting the timings more or less right, maybe into double snap a bit, just so I know the actual progression of moves and have it in muscle memory. Rather than guessing while I go. Gentlemen and ladies is Time to fight! Ah. Anyway. Oh. The counter is the second. OTG, I didn't want that. There we go. Oh, right, I gotta figure out what to do in those cases. 
So I don't know. I'm really bad at adjusting combos on the fly. I don't know what it is. It's just there's so many. If I start trying to adjust combos on the fly, then I get analysis paralysis. Okay, anyway. Ah, again, I screwed that up. I don't know what to do! At this point, I'm gonna have it! I gotta unlearn that habit that I've been learning just randomly playing matches, not even realizing there's a problem. Ow. Ow. Ow, well, just win by chip damage. And then lose by chip damage. That was not- I should've gone- Oh, I should've gone for the forward command grab. That was- I should've done at that point. Oops. Okay, they're being quite aggressive. Aw, oh, seriously? I'm not dead, it's just annoying. That was actually a really happy accident. That was what I was trying to do, and I completely messed up, because I was a really bad habit of doing quarter circle forward when I need to do quarter circle back, and vice versa. Was that good? Well, that was a close match. Hey. But yeah, reset timings are a huge deal in Skullgirls. It's like, I know I need to get my b, &B down, and I've been working on that too, but uh, I've got to think about it. I've got to think about what I want to practice. Like, what order I want to practice it, how I want to prioritize it. Because basically in practice, I've just been in training mode, doing the b, &B over and over and over and over and over again. Like, setting a state for the initial state, saving that, doing the b, &B reset, do the b, &B reset, do the b, &B reset. Like, ha as I'm hitting that last super, reset. Not even letting that finish. Just going to the ne just doing it again. Maybe I should do that for a few minutes with the resets as part of my practice. Like when I'm doing the training mode stuff. Like, for a few minutes out of the training mode, do resets. Or do double snaps. Oh, wait a sec. This is a robo. I think this is death? Oh, well, it would have been if I had any of your luck. Well, that'll do. One down, Roboforce will be popping back in, and that'll be... Oh, I missed the timing. Shoot. There we go. And a squiggly. Not quite my anti-team, but close. Although, I admittedly, there were so many combo breakers, so many squiggles at combo breaker that I ended up learning kind of how to fight squiggly. Part of that being that you're supposed to just block that attack, which I failed to do. Part of that also being... Ah. Oh, whoops. That's actually one of the things I was trying to figure out too in my corner. Corner combo, I have to have the heavy the heavy kick and not heavy punch. Like standing heavy kick instead of crouching heavy punch. That was a corner adaptation I've been trying to learn. I'm, I think about it consciously when I'm in the corner against, especially a squiggly. Squiggly, Valentine, I think Painwheel, and for sure Painwheel. I think also Peacock. Sometimes Philia, if I'm not mistaken, but Philia might be big enough. Philia, despite all the jokes, is actually a really small character. She's tiny. She's not... Okay, she's not tiny. She's small. Squiggly and Painwheel are tiny. Peacock's also fairly tiny. Philia's still small, though. Don't let the memes fool you. She's small. Or maybe medium-sized. But... She's not that big. She drops out of combos that I've... That come to my surprise, honestly. Can I have a cheeseburger? Okay, another fortune. Actually, did I fight this one before? Much shame in losing. I don't think so. Ah. Usually, fortunes will go for a fiber upper first thing, so that's why I'm trying to do what I'm doing. Although, they also don't usually expect someone to run up to them and throw. Screw the quarter circle again! Ah. 
Right, that's the one thing that's actually really tricky about that combo against Fortunes. It doesn't reliably work. That's actually a thing I learned very briefly in my summer matches against Blossom Bombs. That you actually can't hit a Fortune with that second life punch. You have to go straight to the medium kick. Ah. Trying to get above the squiggly hit of the stand with a jumping light punch. That's what I'm trying to. Ah! Ah, oh, seriously? I didn't get any hits in. There we go. Now I need to win neutral and then do a snap. You know, I need to do this so I actually have some zoning presence and not just dealing damage. Like, I'm trying to just cover my own entrance. That's what I care about here. Okay. There we go. Got my health back. Darn it. Did I seriously get hit by that? I got to go by that. Okay, that... That was actually pretty good. That was a good mix-up. Ow. And again, I stripped it. What? What did I do for... Ah! Not what I wanted to do! I wanted to do was go for the... The heavy... Shadow, not medium shadow. Ah, oh, shoot. Nope, I'm dead. Uh, I didn't have enough super to go do something trivial like BFF and a snapback again. And I don't what happened when I won neutrals. Like I won and lot, like I traded. Oh well. I think this will be my last match. I was kind of hoping I would fight that player I just fought again, though. Because that was actually a pretty good Time match. For your physical. It was Adwins, I think their name was? She to win. Yeah, they were fun to play against. Them. Also, they play characters that I need to practice fighting, so... Granted, I seem to be having not exactly any particular problems with any characters right now. Would that autocorrect? Uh, okay. Yeah, that reset's weird. Oh, why did I do that? That was a perfect command opportunity. I was like... Uh, that was a perfect command opportunity. Well, that works too. Uh, uh, you crouching medium punch? I'm never totally sure what to do after that. Like I said, I've been practicing my B. What the? I've been practicing the B and B and not much else. There we go. After second, crush them. That sort of works. I'm still trying to do the command grab, but it's not working. Like, I'm thinking of doing the command grab, but my fingers are doing other moves. This is distressing me. I'm also gonna lose. Everyone has a weakness. Okay, one now, more. Message from that propaganda minister. Didn't go as well as I would like. And also, I don't like ending off feeling like my hand eye coordination's just suddenly gone away again. It keeps doing that. It comes and goes. I don't know what's going on. Oh, crap. This is going to be painful. This is going to be comical at best.
There's much shame in Alright, what do we have? Big Van Beowulf. Another one of these. Actually, Beowulf's another character I need to I find I have a hard time with. Of course, I say that. Oh, right, medium kick, not light. Ah, seriously? Oh, I, I am not liking this lag. There we go. I did I not that wasn't down to four with the snapback input. Why did that not snap back? It was after a medium attack. Why did that not snap back? What is this? I do not understand how snapping works anymore. I thought it was supposed to be you could chain it after any medium attack. But apparently no, you can't. Okay, good. Finally got this working. There. That was weird. I don't know why, because that should the timings should not change, but I guess I use visual feedback more than I expect. Anyhow, that's going to be it for this stream, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night, everyone.